everyone, I'm Seth Zuko, MOBA Division Director for Grievance Gaming, and I'm here today to give you a Smite Primer. So, this video is intended for those of you who are new to Smite, and it's also intended to serve as a basis uh, for learning the fundamentals of Smite. Thank you, Scylla. Learning the fundamentals of Smite uh, so that you will understand what we're talking about when we make future uh, guides and tutorial videos. So. If you are very familiar with Smite, this is probably not the video for you. Feel free to go on to uh, some other guides and videos uh, that you're interested in. Uh, if you are new to Smite, or MOBAs in general, this is a pretty good place to start. Um, if you are very unfamiliar with uh, MOBAs as a genre, uh, please be sure to check out our MOBA Primer video, as that covers a lot of things that we are going to assume that you know when we're talking in this particular video. So, to get started, we're going to talk about everything specific to Smite. Uh, we're going to briefly uh, touch on the map types, but uh, more specifically, we're going to cover uh, the terminology that you need to know in regards to heroes and things like that, so that when you check out our hero guide videos, you'll have a general understanding of what we're talking about. So, uh, first off in Smite, there are a couple of dif a different game modes. You have the arena, and I'll, I'll say we're going to cover each of these game modes in more depth. So, real quick, we're just going to touch on them so that you will know what we're referring to in future videos. So, the arena is a giant open map. Uh, it has no towers, has no lanes, uh, and it's basically just a whole lot of team fighting. Conquest is your traditional uh, 5v5 three lane map. Uh, this is what uh, is played competitively in Smite and what you're going to see uh, for ranked modes in our leagues here. There's also Assault and this is a single lane map where you play, everybody gets a random god to play as. Uh, it has some, some different rules, it's still a 5v5 mode. We have Siege, which is a 4v4 map, sort of in the style of Conquest, but instead of three lanes, it has two lanes, and it also has a unique Siege weapon mechanic. Finally, we have Joust, which is a single lane 3v3 uh, match, and this is also played competitively. Uh, you can play this in ranked. However, most championships and tournaments and things that are uh, Smite related are going to be played in the Conquest mode. Additionally, uh, there's always a mode of the day. This is not going to be something that we refer to in our tutorial guides and videos because these are random, have all kinds of crazy rules and things like that. So those are the modes. Like I said, we'll go over these modes individually in more depth in future videos. Uh, but just so you know what we're referring to when we say these in future videos, there they are. Next, we're going to talk about gods, and primarily we're going to focus on the roles that are available in Smite. So there are five roles. There's the Assassin, Warrior, Guardian, Mage, and Hunter. And when you're on the gods page, you can filter everything by roles. So what we're going to talk about is what you need to know about these roles. So in Smite, and most MOBAs, but in Smite, there are essentially two types of damage and two sources of damage. The two types of damage are physical and magical. And basically, physical damage is damage that will scale based on attack power or attack speed, things like that. And magical damage is stuff that will scale with magical power. The two sources of damage that you're going to have are auto attacks and abilities. So every character has an auto attack, and this is an attack that you can do that doesn't consume any resources, usually, uh, and doesn't really have a cooldown or anything like that, so that's your auto attack. And then every character has abilities, which usually have a cooldown, cost some sort of resource, uh, and are used in conjunction with your auto attacks to deal damage and things to the enemy. So, with that knowledge, we'll be able to 
better define the different roles. So first, we're going to talk about hunters. Hunters are attack damage characters that do the majority of their damage through their auto attacks. So, for example, if we look at Amos and Cab, we look at his abilities, uh, we're going to see that he does have some abilities, and they do they do different things. Okay, he's got a little uh, damage over time with his bees. He's got a hive, and his hive buffs. If you see here, it buffs his movement speed and attack speed. He's got a uh, swarm. This is another little damage over time ability. He's got a honey move, which is another damage over time, and slow. And then he has a stinger, which does some damage. So these abilities in themselves can do a significant amount of damage, but most of the time they serve to help him uh, accent his auto attack. So hunters benefit greatly from attack damage because attack damage will buff their auto attack to do more damage when they hit. Attack speed, because they get to auto attack more often. Uh, and so that's what a hunter does. The role of a hunter is basically to either kill minions really fast, but more uh, importantly is their ability to quickly kill enemy champion or enemy gods via their auto attacks. Uh, so that is what a hunter does. Next we'll cover mages. So mages generally do magical damage and the majority of their damage comes from their abilities. Now the main difference here is that yes mages have auto attacks but their auto attacks generally are not very strong and normally their abilities aren't going to really augment their attack their auto attack in any way and because of this they have to rely on their abilities doing uh, the majority of their damage and the damage on their abilities will scale quite well uh, with magic power. Next we're going to talk about assassins. Assassins are essentially the same as hunters. They're almost always going to be physical damage and the majority of their damage is probably going to come from their auto attacks. The significant difference is the fact that most assassins are melee ranged characters whereas most hunters are ranged characters. So assassin, uh, you're looking at a lot of melee and they also usually have good chase and escape abilities so that they can uh, ambush their opponents and uh, do a lot of damage or so that they can get into the fight, do as much damage as possible, and then run away. Because in the case of mages, assassins, and hunters, they're all relatively squishy. They have relatively low defense, relatively low HP, and so they are much easier to kill uh, than the other two roles that we're going to be talking about. So next we're going to talk about warriors. Now warriors are kind of a weird sort of hybrid class. Uh, warriors, the majority of the time their damage is going to be physical. And the majority of their damage could come from either their abilities or their auto attack, depending on the character. Uh, there's no general rule there. Usually as a warrior you have pretty solid ability damage and you have pretty solid attack damage, or auto attack damage. It's not going to be as strong as a hunter or assassin's auto attack damage, and usually it's not going to be as strong as a mage's ability uh, damage. But you're kind of good all around. In addition to that, you're not as squishy as those characters either. Uh, and this is without taking into consideration any item builds. The final role is a guardian. So a guardian essentially is like your tank character. Uh, the majority of the time their damage is going to be magical. And the majority of the time they don't really do a lot of damage. Um, their primary focus is on their ability to crowd control their opponents and disrupt the enemy team and set up kills for the other players on your team. And those are the five roles uh, in smite 
and the basic idea of what each one of them uh, is built around and what you should probably focus on. So uh, with that in mind, we're going to quickly hop into the practice jungle. And this will actually contain all of the other little units and stuff we need to talk Bologna. about. I haven't played Bologna yet. Okay, so we're going to hop in here and we're just going to uh, cover the different buffs, the minion types and what they do. And uh, then that's going to be it for the smite primer. I sense a battle approaching. Let us hope our enemies have skill. I know I am. Okay, so um, when you're looking at this, I want you to know that in our god guides, we're not going to be covering item builds because item builds are so dependent upon the enemy team that you're facing, what map type you're playing, how you want to play your character. There's just so many variables when it comes to item builds. We're not going to be talking about them. Uh, if you need help with a specific item build or trying to come up with an item build for your character, there are guides and resources online that we can connect you to. All you have to do is ask. So, uh, we're going to go out here and we're going to check things out. So, uh, this is representative of a lane. As you can see here, we have enemy minions. Uh, if you're familiar with MOBAs or you watch the MOBA primer, then you know all about minions and what they do. And they're the same in Smite as they are in any other game, uh, any other MOBA game. Next up, we have the Fire Giant. This is the biggest, baddest monster on the map, if he's on the map. I believe he's only on the Conquest map. And essentially, he is the big, huge monster that you need to generally uh, have your entire team there to kill, or some really strong characters to kill, as you can see in the, uh, the box, maybe if my uh, webcam's not covering it up. When you kill the fire giant, you get a gold bonus. All allies get 150 gold, 70 magic power, 50 physical power, 4% uh, health regen, and 2% mana regen every five seconds, and plus 20% damage versus towers for four minutes. So huge, huge buff um, on the fire giant. Next we have the Gold Fury, and the Gold Fury is a tough monster. He's not as tough as the, or she's not as tough as the Fire Giant, but much tougher than any of the other jungle minions. Uh, and when you kill the Gold Fury, everyone on your team gets 300 gold. So nice gold bonus from the Gold Fury. Next we have the Red Buff, or the Damage Buff. And this is a jungle buff that you can get that is focused on increasing damage. Uh, it's a 20% increase of power for two minutes plus additional 10 magical or five physical power. Uh, so in general, this is a pretty good buff to give to any character that is, uh, you know, uh, an attack style character. So you probably wouldn't want to give this to a guardian. You wouldn't want to give this to a mage if your mage is playing a support style mage with healing and things like that. Uh, but any other character, it's pretty good for. Uh, generally, this uh, buff will get dropped to someone who is reliant upon auto attacks for their damage, though. So a hunter, assassin, maybe a warrior, um, most of the time. Next, we have the speed camp. This used to be the uh, yellow buff. Uh, I don't believe it's yellow anymore. I think it's an orange color. And this is a movement speed buff. And so this buff gives you 20% movement speed and generally you're going to want to give this to your jungling character if you have one uh, as it will help them get around the map faster, hopefully secure some ganks and uh, help them to uh, increase their uh, farm on the jungle monsters. And then finally we have the blue buff or the mana buff and this buff uh, gives you plus five mana per second and 10% cooldown reduction and you almost always want to give this buff to a mage of some sort if you uh, have one uh, because this is going to allow them to use their abilities more often because generally their abilities are going to cost significant amounts of mana and also that cooldown reduction allows them to use their abilities more often. And 
then this is another type of jungle camp. It doesn't actually give you a buff, it's just an XP camp. So killing these monsters will give you uh, gold and XP. And I believe I have covered all the different monster types. Um, obviously you know about towers. Um, phoenixes are the defensive structure that you encounter after towers. And then uh, we have the uh, the enemy giant. I don't remember what it's called, but the, uh, sorry. Um, the enemy team's uh, base monster that you have to kill. So this should give you a general idea of the terms and everything that we're going to cover coming up in our game guides and our mode guides. Like I said, we'll get more in depth about everything uh, later on in future videos. This is just a quick primer video to uh, set you up with the basics for Smite.